Hi guys, and welcome to Family Fudge. We're headed to Costco today, so come along with us. The Family Fudge, the Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet, but full of nuts. So as we're driving along here, we're definitely taking some time to talk about the plans for this week, what we need to get done. That's why I really like to bring this guy with me when we go to Costco, because it's kind of a long drive. But you guys, I totally feel something in my shoe. It feels like it might be a penny or a piece of paper or something. And I wouldn't be surprised if one of the kids stuck it in there. So, it's the perfect opportunity to take my shoe off and show you the socks of the day. So yes, today's sock is Minnie Mouse. I'm still in Disney mode. Love everything Disney. Oh, there it is. The tiny piece of paper. Not quite sure where that came from. But at least it's out of my shoe. Okay, kids, do you remember what the rules are? Yeah. Okay, let's hear them. No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, no being weird, no falling over. <laughs> yes, let's go. Jackson has a request for his birthday. What is it? Security camera. <laughs> what is it? A security camera. He wants a security camera for his birthday. What are you going to watch? Door. Outside the door. <laughs> this Costco now has all of the camping gear out. I love seeing the camping gear. Yet we never buy it because we never really go camping, but it does look cool. So these are super cute. These hooded towels are $15.99, and there's a mini one, there's Paw Patrol, and of course, my favorite, Mickey Mouse. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. Okay friends, the back of the car is full. That means it's time to go home. We're back home now and here's what we got. I'll start with everything from Costco and then I'll show you the things from Walmart. And I know it looks like a lot of things and it totally is. I think all of these things will last us at least two weeks, if not more. And we do have some meat in the freezer, so we didn't pick up a whole lot of that this time. So starting back over here, I picked up a pair of these sandals, one for Jackson and one for Mackenzie. These are such a good deal and a great quality for only $10. Under that, I got some trash bags, two gallons of milk, some almond milk, and then right above here, I have some of these sea salt multi-grain tortilla chips. I really like all of the different grains in here. They're really good. And they're a little bit thicker than your regular chip. Over here, I have five dozen eggs, which I know is a lot of eggs, but I'm gonna be making some deviled eggs pretty soon, and I wanted to have plenty of eggs for that. I also got a rotisserie chicken for tonight's dinner and some baby spinach. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this chicken on the spinach and make a yummy salad. I also got the kids' favorite, these muffins. These are gonna be really hard for me to stay away from because I love them, but I'm trying to eat a little bit more healthy this week. These are the chocolate muffins, and these are the vanilla muffins with the chocolate chunks and the chocolate drizzle. They look good. Now these actually freeze really well too, so some of these will go in the freezer. Back over here, I also got the five cheese tortelloni. Again, half of these will go directly into the freezer and the other half will have some time this week. These cook so fast. We also picked up lots of veggies this time. We got a big bag of asparagus. We got a bag of the sweet kale salad, definitely my favorite. And a big bag of broccoli because I think this is the kid's favorite vegetable. So we go through broccoli a lot. I also got a big tub of sour cream some pesto, our favorite, and some plain yogurt. This is going into some smoothies. And I also got this big thing of mango salsa. I'm a huge fan of sweet and spicy salsa, and this will be perfect with our multi-green chips. Also to go with our chips, we have some of this organic hummus. And this is in the roasted pine nut flavor, which I've never tried before, but it sounds really tasty. We also got a big bag of lemons. I'm hoping to try the whole lemon water in the morning thing. I don't know if you've heard of that, but it's supposed to be really good for you. Help you wake up in the morning and detoxify as well. So I'm gonna give that a try. 
Over here, I got a big bag of these tamales, which are my husband's favorite, not necessarily mine, but these freeze really well too, so I'll definitely put some of those in the freezer. From Costco, I also picked up a bag of avocados. There are six in here, but they're pretty hard. So when I went to Walmart, I made sure to pick up some that will be ripe like tomorrow. So we can have those tomorrow, and we can have these later in the week. Now also from Costco, I got a triple pack of the bacon. This is the low sodium one, I really like that. And we also got a corned beef for our Irish dinner. And way over here, I got a double pack of the uncooked tortillas. Now, I'm gonna take one of these packages and put it directly into the freezer. There are 50 tortillas in here, so that will last us a long time, probably more than a month. Now I think that is everything from Costco, so I'll go ahead and show you everything I got from Walmart, starting with this cute little jar of baby pickles. Now when we were at Disneyland, I bought Lily one of those giant pickles. Have you seen those at Disney? They're so good. And she definitely liked them for the first time ever. So I made sure to get her these little pickles because they're more her size. Moving on over here, I picked up two boxes of the lime jello. These are both going into a St. Patrick's Day treat I'm hoping to make. I also got a box of these crunchy granola bars. I decided to go with the store brand to save a little money. And I also got some of this Irish cheese that's gonna be going with our corned beef for our St. Patrick's Day special dinner. For the kids, I picked up some Activia yogurt. This time I got the black cherry and the peach. I know they love the peach and hopefully they'll love the cherry as well. Over here, I picked up a bag of string cheese. I like to get the string cheese at Walmart nowadays instead of Costco because Costco's tend to get a little bit old in my fridge because there's 60 of them. That's a lot of string cheese. So the smaller one is perfect for us. Back over here, I picked up a carton of tomato soup. This is one of my favorite go-to snacks, and I like that this one is organic and lighter in sodium, so it's not so bad for me. And then back here, you guys, I picked up this beautiful wreath. I love the hydrangeas. There were hydrangeas everywhere at Disneyland, so I definitely was feeling this one today. And I like that it's green because it works for St. Patrick's Day, but it'll also work for springtime and Easter as well. It's so cute, I love it. So it's basically hydrangeas, and then down over here, I don't know if you can see this, there's a little burlap bow. So I definitely need to fluff that out and put it on my door. Because you guys, I still have my Valentine's Day wreath on my door, I know that's so bad. Now, next to the wreath, you'll see this guy. And I know what you might be thinking. I got a big tub of sour cream here, and I got a big tub of sour cream there. So what's the deal? Well, I'll have to say, my husband put this in the cart at Costco and I didn't know. And then I went shopping by myself at Walmart and picked this one up because I didn't know that we already had one. So now we have sour cream for like a year. We have so much sour cream. In front of that, I picked up some red grapes. I also got some mint that's going into a special smoothie. Those avocados I was telling you about, these ones are pretty ripe right now. I got a package of the fully cooked turkey sausage. I got a bag of the frozen sweet potato fries. These, again, are so good and so easy. I like to make these in the air fryer, so it's like they're fried, but not really. I also got two more salad kits. I'm a big fan of salad kits. This one is the Southwest Chop Salad, and this has cabbage, romaine, pumpkin seeds, tortilla strips, and a creamy cilantro dressing. It's really good. And then this one is the Asian Chop Salad. This has cabbage and carrots, green onions, cilantro, wonton noodles, almonds, and a sesame ginger dressing. So those are so good and easy. I also picked up a package of the turkey pepperoni and the uncured salami. So lots of lunch options for the next two weeks. And hiding over here, I have a container of whipped cream, which is going to go on our special lime jello dessert. I also picked up just one of these Luna coconut bars. These are so tasty. I know they're not much better than a candy bar, but I really like them. And when I was at Costco, I forgot to pick up jam. So I went ahead and just got the smaller um, jar of strawberry jam. This looks pretty good. I also got two rolls of sugar cookie dough, which are going into a special video I'm hoping to share with you on Wednesday. It might already be posted by the time you're seeing this video, so I'll go ahead and put an eye in the sky if you wanna click it and check out that video. I also got a bag of mini chocolate chips, a package of green onions, one loaf of wheat bread for lunches this week, 
and a bag of these dinner rolls. These are soft potato rolls and they're going in a special recipe as well. Over here I have a small bag of the Hershey's Nuggets because I was looking for something that looked like gold, like a gold candy for, you know, leprechaun type projects. So yeah, that's definitely going into a video as well. Okay guys, we're in the home stretch. Just a few more things and that is it. Right here I have a bottle of the rice vinegar and then I have two bottles of the gluten-free soy sauce. These are sometimes hard to find so I went ahead and picked up two this time. I also got a bag of the flatbread pita. This is great for lunches. We got some bananas, some gluten-free panko. Now I say panko instead of panko you guys because I actually lived in Japan and so the word for bread is pronounced pan. So it should be panko, not panko, but that's just me. Moving right along, I also picked up two packages of the Pioneer Woman napkins. We have this variety, which comes with four different prints. These are really pretty, and I like to use these in my cooking videos to kind of jazz it up. And then I also got this set of four napkins. There's a red, and a yellow, and a green, and a light blue. I can't wait to get the new ones as soon as they're available. And lastly, I also picked up a carton of strawberries and a carton of, ki of kiwis. I almost called those cuties, but no, they're kiwis. So lots of fruit, lots of vegetables, a little bit of meat, a little bit of dairy. Hopefully this week we'll eat a little bit healthier than last week when we were on vacation. Thank you so much for joining me for today's haul. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.